is up guys welcome back to the channel for another episode of in the kitchen with retro I already got my ingredients laid out I'll go over them here one by one this is the ingredients what you're uh, gonna need but if you can't tell by these ingredients I'm making uh, Mexican street corn today something uh, new that uh, I've came across recently um, I've actually tried some Cheetos flavored Mexican street corn. That's how I like Thought about it then I just started looking on YouTube and it's like okay Saw people making it so I thought I could do it. So here's the ingredients. Here's the cheese Contilla cheese. It's like a uh, you know, it's a Mexican cheese. Uh, they say you can use feta if you can't find that a little bit of Tabasco sauce Mayonnaise I'm using Heinz mayonnaise. That's my favorite mayonnaise now some sour cream, lime juice, cilantro, paprika, and then some garlic paste. Now, a lot of people uh, use uh, fresh cilantro. Um, you don't have to. And I'm I'm going to show you a, a way that uh, you, you can you can do you you can use the dried. So let me get the tripod set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Yes, so I'm making a grilled Mexican street corn today. So I'm going to put these ears of corn on the grill. Charcoal grill. Charcoal style. That's how I do it. I'm old school. I don't never like gas. Um, just personal preference. That's it. Alright, so here's the first step. If you're gonna if you're gonna use dried cilantro, which I am, then the first step you need to do is pour, you know. Get some of the cilantro in this little, and I'm putting it in a little bowl here. All right, and then I'm gonna take my li my lime juice. There we go. See that there? That way, that lime juice, those um, those dried cilantro leaves can be soaking up that lime juice you know and as that happens the flavor is going to come out of those um, cilantro leaves okay if you, you know you got to you got to get them uh, hydrated somehow um, so like you know a lot of times you might put this in some kind of a sauce and you know therefore that way it's bringing the flavor out of it so that's the first step so so you can see here you know, it's uh, it's soaking that up. All right, so that that's the first thing I'm going to do. So while that's doing that, I'm going to make my um, my mayonnaise and sour cream mixture because that's what you coat the um, the corn the corn cob with. That's what makes the cheese stick to it. All right, so that's coming up next. Okay, so I'm just gonna add the, um, the the other wet ingredients to that little bowl that I had the um, the lime juice and the cilantro soaking in. So here I'm gonna just you know some Heinz mayonnaise and these uh, convenient squirt bottles, right? Just about that much. You want you want to use about the same amount of um, equal parts, you know, same. Of uh, the sour cream and mayonnaise ratio. Okay. Just a quick note on this mayonnaise: this Heinz mayonnaise. My favorite, my new favorite mayonnaise. That used to be Hellman's, you know. I mean, I always loved Miracle Whip better than Hellman's, you know. Miracle Whip was my, always my thing. But when it comes to real mayonnaise. You know, I of course was uh, always did Hellman's, but I recently discovered this Heinz mayonnaise. They Heinz recently got into the game. Very awesome taste. Ch check it out if you haven't tried it. I would uh, highly recommend it. Next, we got this uh, garlic paste. Okay, I'm just gonna maybe like a teaspoon of that. Yeah, not too much, just a little bit, and then. This is where I'm getting my heat from is this Tabasco sauce. So I'm just going to, you know, 
dribble a little bit on there. I think that's good. I am going to add um, some Mrs. Dash to this, to this mixture, okay? Mrs. Dash is good for flavor. And that's what I'm going for with this, um, with my version of Mexican street corn is I'm going for flavor, not so much, you know, heat. Because one of the spices they, they call for is tahini. And that's, you know, that's kind of hot. That's like, um, you know, like cayenne pepper hot and that sort of thing. So I'm going to use a little bit of Tabasco sauce for my heat. And I'm going to add it to this mayonnaise and sour cream mixture because most uh, most of the recipes, I, all the um, recipes I've seen, they would sprinkle that tahini directly on the... Um, that was like the last thing added to it, so you would like be eating, you would be like really, it'd be touching your mouth and face. Um, so like, because you would add the, you, had, you know, once you add the cheese, then they sprinkle that tahini over top of it. I, I'm, I'm going with paprika for the color, okay? Because I'm going for more for flavor and not so much uh, heat. Just have, to, just have to mix this up here. You know, I don't need a lot because I'm just doing two ears of corn. And, you know, depends on what video you'll watch and who's doing this Mexican treat corn. Some people, they say they, t they was taking a spatula and slathering, slathering this on the ear of corn. Um, I think that's too much. To me, I'm going to use a brush and I'm just going to like kind of like paint it on, paint a thin, uh, you know, a thin coating on it. And you know, then um, you know, dip it in the uh, the crumbly cheese. So, so that's all done. Okay, this is this is um, this is all done here. See, kind of looks nice. Okay, so that's ready. Next thing I gotta do is chop this cheese up. I'm gonna this uh, cotilla cheese. I'm gonna put this in the food processor and try to make it easier on myself. So I'm just going to use half of that cheese. And in case you're wondering, it's, it's totally safe for me to stick down there because this, this one has a feast. I can't even turn it on if I want to, see? This one, it's got a nice, uh, that's a safety feature. Safety first. All right. Just going to dump the cheese on there like so. There is some... Uh, stuck around there so I will I need a spoon anyway to like spoon, spoon the cheese on so yeah that cheese is ready to go my uh, sauce mixture is ready to go now I just got to um, strip the corn and get it ready for the grill okay so we're out here at my grill I'm just buttering the corn right now. See how doing got my got my brush, got my little bowl of butter here. I just tried to do a little bit of just enough coals. Ooh, got got a flare up. Alright, so we're ready to do this here. So I got my I'm trying to try to do this so you guys can see it. See me how I'm doing this here. So I'm just gonna brush this on here, right? Just a light coating. Yep, just a light coating on all sides of it. Yeah, like I said, some people slather it on with a spatula, but that, to me that's too much. That's overkill. 
you, you don't you don't want your sauce to be like the the main um, like the main you know all that you're tasting there. You just want enough on there to coat it so that cheese will stick to it. All right, so that's enough of that. All right, so I'm gonna do my cheese here. So what you do is you just basically you just spoon it on here. Spoon that cheese on there. And if you can't find that Katia cheese, um, you can use feta or even Parmesan if you wanted to. You know, whatever whatever you can uh, get your get a hold of. So I think that's gonna do it there. Then we'll do a little paprika here for coloring. Now, now, tr now traditional um, the everybody else that does the. Mexican street corn, they use the tahini, which is uh, hot, but I'm not, I don't, I'm, I'm not all for, you know, I don't want it all that hot. I just, I'm just really using this paprika for flavor. So there we go. There's the finished product. Mexican street corn, everybody. So let's, let's taste it out and see how we did here. Let's, moment of truth. Some flavor. I'm gonna since Inspector Gadget isn't here, I'm gonna say it for him. I'm gonna say wowzers. Uh, okay. Holy crap, that is like some tasty stuff, okay? Like so many flavors coming together. It's like you got the sweetness of the corn with all those other flavors of the, the cilantro, the limes juice, the uh, the garlic paste. Uh, the, the mayonnaise, the sour cream, all that coming together, plus the uh, the katia cheese and the sweetness of the corn. I was like, oh my gosh, um, yeah, that is like, that is a lot going on, but that is a lot of good flavor going on. Have you guys ever heard of this Mexican street corn? Um, I think I pulled it off. Do you guys? What do you guys say? Is I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say crack boom I knocked out a homie that is some good stuff I definitely recommend you try this now I just need a cold tasty beverage here and the spirit of and the spirit of summer run I think I'm gonna give us some Mountain Dew major melon here I think that's appropriate mmm nice Let's, get, let's see how that goes together. Mm-hmm. Now I'll drink of this. Oh, yeah. Good combo. Definitely recommend it. Um, yeah, that's about it. What'd you guys think? What'd you think of the video? So leave, so leave me some comments below. Uh, have you ever heard of this? Would you, would you be interested in trying this? If so, let me know in the comments below. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to turn the camera off and enjoy this ear of uh, Mexican street corn. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap that red subscribe button down there. Then the bell next to it, ding, ding. And that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro.
just using regular sour cream. Mm. Oh, come on, you son of a 